welcome back to Crafts with B. Are you ready to do something exciting with me today? Yes. As Easter is coming up, I've got some lovely Easter activities for you. And today's Easter activity is making this wonderful egg. Doesn't it look good? And it's so simple to make, so I really hope that you'll have a go at it. What you need first is just a cardboard box, any cardboard box that you can find, and just cut out some of the card. Once you've done that, you will need to draw an egg shape on there. So have a little look at mine and see if you can draw an egg just like that. If you're having trouble, ask a grown-up to help you draw it. It doesn't have to be perfect though, it just has to look like an egg. Once you've done that, all you've got to do is then cut out that middle bit. You can either use scissors and cut it out, or I use a special crafting knife to cut it out. If you use a craft knife, uh, it ended up me having another egg which I could then decorate later so I decorated it with um, different tapes that I had but you could colour it with different felt tapes whatever you wanted so a second craft activity there if you manage to cut out it in one go so once you've got your hole cut through you will need to have some sticky back plastic now that's the bit that's on the back here that's a bit sticky here I got mine from a supermarket if you can't find it in any craft shops or any supermarkets or anything like that, just use sellotape and put strips of sellotape on the back of it instead. Because all that needs to be is some sticky stuff so that anything can stick to it that you're decorating it with. Does that sound alright? And you're ready to go? The next thing that you will need is just any bits you can find. So I've used bits of string, you could use wool, you could use pipe cleaners, bits of paper, sequins, um, beads. Uh, pom-poms, just anything that you can find around the house that you are happy to use. And then, get decorated. So I started off with some strips of paper and I've put those at the top. I've got some pom-poms and I've put them in a special order and made a pattern out of them. So orange is my middle and then I've got different colours going at either side, but you can put yours on however you want. Um, with my pipe cleaner, if you can see there, I've, I'm bending it to make it zigzag. So you just want to bend a little bit and then bend it back the other way and then bend it again and bend it back the other way and keep going until it fits all the way across your egg and cut off anything extra that you don't need. With my wool, because it sticks so well to the sticky back plastic, I'm doing it as I go along. So start with the wool at one end and then I'm just curling it round to make a lovely curly pattern all the way across my egg. And then when you do get to the end, just chop off anything that you don't need so it's not hanging over the edge. And the last thing I'm going to add to mine is some beads. So I've gone for a pattern on mine, but you can put yours however you like. It can be a repeating pattern, it could just be random whatever colours you have. If you've got sequins, you can put those on there. Um, I'd love to see what you add to your egg. And that's it. That is your egg complete. Can you believe it? That was nice and simple. And wherever you hang it up, it's going to look brilliant. You can hang it up on a window so the sun will shine through it. You can hang it up on a special coloured wall so it'll look like it's that colour. You see it on here. We've got a pink egg now, <laughs> or a stripy egg. Just wherever you can find a place for it, it will look fantastic. And don't forget, if you've had a go at my craft today, send me a picture of it. I would love to see what you've done. Thank you very much for joining me for Crafts with Fee, and I hope you'll come back again for another craft soon.